Hey there, Psych2Goers. Welcome back to the channel. How do you define intelligence? Contrary to popular belief, intelligence isn't simply getting good grades or having a high IQ. Rather, it can present itself in various different ways. Many types of intelligence can be easily overlooked. What you may be lacking in traditional smarts, you could make up for an emotional or creative intelligence. With this in mind, it is no surprise that there are many unexpected signs you're smarter than others. Even if you don't think you're traditionally smart, you may exhibit any of these six signs you are more intelligent than others. Number one, you enjoy alone time. Do you prefer to go out with a group of friends or stay in? It may sound like a cliche, but sometimes enjoying alone time really is a sign of intelligence. That's not to say all intelligent people always have their nose in a book. Rather, they like to have time for reflection and hobbies. You aren't afraid of self-growth and have tons of intellectual curiosity. If this introspective description fits you, there's a good chance you're smarter than others. Number two, you're flexible and creative. Are you open to new ideas? Do others call you a maverick? In this day and age, it can be easy to become fixated on one side of an argument without fairly considering the other. One huge sign of intelligence is being able to be open-minded and think outside the box. Seeing past your biases makes you more emotionally intelligent and an overall more responsible consumer of information. This, combined with innovative, unique thinking, makes you more intelligent than most. Number three, you often daydream and seem far away. Is your head always in the clouds? While you may seem aloof to others, daydreaming is a big sign you're more creative and thoughtful than others. You're planning for the future and may get too caught up with bigger thoughts to be present at the moment. This means if you're constantly daydreaming, you could be more introspective and intellectually curious than most. Number four, you have lots of self-control. Do you lead a healthy, balanced life? Many people imagine self-control as having a strict diet and workout regimen or working all the time. However, self-control is really about having everything in moderation. Balancing your mental, physical, and social health is a huge sign you're more responsible and knowledgeable about what you need than most people. It's okay to eat dessert and snacks, take a break, and not worry about being perfect all the time. Realizing that not only means you're more intelligent than some, but it'll also help you live a happier life. <laughs> Number five, you're messy. What does your room look like? Is everything neatly filed away or does it look like you haven't cleaned in months? Being messy could mean your mind works faster than your body can keep up with it. It's always onto the next idea or activity for you, which could leave your surroundings kind of chaotic. For example, having messy handwriting means your mind is thinking faster than your hand can record. You have too many thoughts to worry about dotting every I and crossing every T. So while being messy is often misconstrued as laziness, it's actually a sign you're a quick thinker. Who knew? In number six, you tend to overanalyze. Are you indecisive? You just have to analyze everything about a situation or decision. Overanalyzing means you're a critical thinker who likes to consider all aspects of a problem to find the best solution. You tend to avoid making rash choices that could harm you in the long run, making you good at thinking ahead. This is a huge sign you're more intelligent than others, since you have both attention to detail and a larger perspective. Intelligence can't be measured by just any one factor. IQ, grades, and more don't mean one person is smarter than another. There are so many different types and definitions of intelligence, so don't worry about not fitting a certain category. The bottom line is everyone is smart in their own way, which cannot be compared to another's. Do you exhibit any of these signs? If so, which ones? Have you struggled to fit into the traditional definition of intelligence? Feel free to share your story thoughts or suggestions down below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there figuring out why they don't fit the traditional bill. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks so much for watching.